I'd like to encourage you, as God has been doing fantastic things in my life last year and this year as I've traveled across the country. God bless you as you listen. Hi guys, my name is Becca and I'm from Branson, Missouri. I attended the Cowboy Church this morning for Easter Sunday. I had the pleasure of talking and meeting with Miss Anita because we have on a similar dress color. Um, I was able to share my testimony with her this morning about how God healed me um, and allowed me to get surgery to get a tumor that had been in my lung. And I just want to give God all the praise for healing me and for keeping me healthy. And what God did for Becca, he can do for you. I'm Steve. I'm the pastor of Cowboy Church here in Branson, Missouri. Here's located at 65 and 76 intersection right across the street from CBS Pharmacy. Come on. I just visited the Cowboy Church of Branson. It was amazing. We are celebrating Jesus Christ and Resurrection Sunday and Pastor Steve did a wonderful job of musically presenting the whole gospel message. Pastor Steve, thank you so much for doing that. I'm glad you showed up. How did God give you that inspiration? Was it something you planned a long time ago or was it just today? It was about four years ago he gave that idea to me and we tried to do it and we succeeded every year. So. You know, I think that music really touches the heart of people and it it's really an international language and sometimes people don't even understand the language but they can hear the music. Isn't they that can the case? Feel, they can feel the anointing yes. that God puts on a person. Yes. It really does. You know, it's funny because when I was born, I was um, a cesarean and I was in an incubator. My mom said that mom and dad went in and I was in the incubator singing. <laughs> <laughs> And I've been praising the Lord ever since, and I just love to worship Him. You know, the Bible says that everything is meaningful. The frequency of life is even in the rocks. When Helen Keller said that she could hear the frequency in a rock, it's the truth because the Bible says even the rocks will cry out if we don't praise Him. So Amen. we don't want that to happen, do we? Right. We want to praise Him. Amen. We want to keep going. So the message is, make it a fresh new day and praise God every single day, and then He will give you way to go and he will always make a way. He's amen. got the way. Amen. God bless. At a Bible study cruise, Mike Schuler had this to say. Hey, this is Mike. God's been good to me this week. Uh, he's been teaching me how to trust in him and with that I'm truly grateful. On the same Bible study cruise, Ron O'Dell had this to say. I really like witnessing. But you know what I found out? People really don't care how much I know, but they really do know how much I care. I love being the feet of Jesus and letting people know how much He cares for them. He cares for you too. Hi, I'm Anita Wardlaw and welcome to A Fresh New Day. This is a brand new opportunity to go forth and have victory for you in 2022. I'm working on new projects myself. I'm pursuing my doctorate degree in theology. Amazingly, also, it's now four years since my heroic husband Howard passed to heaven. Yet my son and I grow stronger every day. And I am teaching, writing a book, leading prayer, and I'm so excited about what God has in store for you and me. And I have a new message for you that I believe will bless you. Stay tuned. Here we go. Hi, friends. Welcome to another episode of A Fresh New Day. Today, I'm actually in Indiana, and I'm learning more of the Word, and I'm sharing the goodness of Jesus Christ as well. You know, so many people talk to me and they have questions. I was just ministering to a lady the other day and she had questions about all the things that are happening in the world. Rumors of this and rumors of that and rumors of this. You know, friends, we can rest assured that God is a good God. He's faithful. No matter what you're going through, if you put your eyes on Jesus, you can get through it. Yes, there are tribulations on the earth that people go through. But if we put our hand in the hand of the one that made us, then we will see the light on the end of the tunnel. You know, it says in 2 Corinthians, I mean 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 2, verse 9, that I have not seen nor ear heard, 
neither has entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Have you ever been a little kid on a long road trip and you said, are we there yet, mom? Are we there yet, dad? Are we there yet, teacher? And she just said, you have to wait. You have to wait. We'll get there. We'll get there. You know, and so it is. As adults, sometimes we have to just wait upon the Lord because I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. You know, I went to the Ark Encounter today and Noah worked on the Ark at a time when rain had never been seen on the earth before. And the Lord knew that he could be trusted. And he worked and he worked and he worked for years and years and years. And then the door opened. And Noah tried to get all the people around to come in. But only laughter and mockery came. And so his family went in. And then God shut the doors. And the rain came down and the people were terrified. They'd never seen rain before. And the flood was coming. You know, Jesus is our ark of salvation. If we turn to him when it's the hardest, when we're going through the worst things, trust me, God will provide. He will provide. You may not understand, but he's got light in the end of the tunnel. He said, the Lord said, blessing and cursing is before us. And he told us to choose life. And that we can have what we say. If we say, my God will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, then that's what we will see in the end of the tunnel, even if we don't understand. But it calls for perseverance. Can you imagine 40 days in a boat? But in the end, there was light. There was a fresh new world to start over again. Friends, you can always have a fresh new day in Jesus no matter how far you think you've gone. If you turn it over to him, he will show you the way. I just wanna encourage you today, no matter what you see, no matter what you hear, no matter what kind of pain you're in, what kind of mistakes you've made, there's a God that loves you. Put your hand in the hand of the man that loves you. And it can be a fresh new day for you. I just pray a prayer over you, all that are listening. Be at peace. Shalom. May God bless you and calm your fears today. May he calm your heart and stir up within you a hope that it can be a fresh new day. If you don't know this Jesus that I'm talking about, just say, Lord, help. Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me for everything I've done wrong and help me to have a fresh new day in you. I love you. God bless you. And I'm praying for everyone that's watching my program. God bless you and have a fresh new day. Any of you are hurting or facing a very difficult situation, I plead the blood of Jesus over you and I pray for you to have a blessing right now in Jesus' name. God cares for you more than you can realize. I urge you to say Psalm 91 over yourself every day because it's a psalm of protection and say the Lord's Prayer because it is full of the goodness of God and reminds you that God is your Father. When you accept him and believe him, he answers you. Read God's word. It's full of promises for you. And be thankful. For more episodes of A Fresh New Day, you can watch it at northmetrotv.com. You can watch it on demand on YouTube on my Envision Tech Exec YouTube channel where you can like and subscribe. God bless you and thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Stay tuned for more episodes of A Fresh New Day.